Hi guys, back pain is one of the commonest cause why people see their doctors and prolonged sitting, lack of activities and obesity are commonly associated with back pain and in this video I want to explain to you why prolonged sitting has a negative consequences to your backbone. My name is Dr. Tony Stiobudi, an orthopedic and spine surgeon at Mount Elizabeth Hospital, Singapore. If we see the spine from the side, there are normal curves in the spine. So in the lower back, there is lodotic curve or lodosis, the curve going to the back. And in the upper back, there is kyphotic curve, the curve going to the front and in the neck going back to lodosis going to the back. And this curve is very important to the longevity of the spine. What happened to the curve when we are sitting? This lodotic curve becomes kyphotic. The spine, instead of going to the back, it becomes straightened or going to the front. And the back here, there are muscles, ligaments that hold the bones together. And if the spine becomes kyphotic like that, the muscles and the ligaments are stretched. So prolonged sitting changes the alignment of the spine. Ligaments and muscles are like rubber band. So if we stretch for prolonged period of time, this rubber band will lose the elasticity and become weak structurally and can snap. So this is the same as our back muscles and the ligament. If it is stretched, it becomes weak and it's just waiting for time to get injured. So sometimes the injury does not happen during the sitting itself but because the muscle is weak, you just need to wait for something trivial. For example, just picking up something on the floor, bending down a little bit and suddenly you may experience an excruciating back pain. Or sometimes when you wake up in the morning and suddenly you experience a sudden excruciating back pain. So you don't know what happened during the sleep because the ligament or the muscles are weak and get injured during the sleep then you experience sudden and excruciating back pain when you wake up when the spine become kyphotic going to the front like that so it puts a lot of pressure on the disc you know the disc the spine has a lot of disc and the disc is located in between the bones and this disc provide the flexibility allow the spine to move so if the posture is kyphotic it puts a lot of pressure in the disc and the disc will wear out faster and sometimes it causes a tear annular tear and this is this causes excruciating back pain and sometimes it can cause slip disc which gives back pain radiating down the leg so prolonged sitting is not good for the back you may ask me what if we use a lumbar support you can do experiment yourself you can put lumbar support and after you are sitting for one hour you can feel the back what is the curve is it low dosis or is it kyphotic if the curve is going to the front it means that your lumbar spot it does not help you to maintain the normal curvature of the spine so if you need to sit for a long time the best way to keep the damage minimal to the spine is by getting up every 20 to 30 minutes walk around to allow the stretch muscle to become relaxed again this preserves the elasticity so that your muscle will not become weak and don't get damaged so easily. And number two, do regular exercise to keep your back muscles strong. And you can do core muscle strengthening exercise in yoga or pilates as well. And next time, if you have a sudden onset of back pain as cruciating, you can look into your sitting habit. Do you sit for a long time? Do you get up every 20 to 30 minutes? Do you do regular exercise? Then you may want to make some changes before it is too late. I hope this video is useful to all of you. If you like it, please click like and subscribe. And you can share this video to your friends. And see you again 
in my next video. Bye-bye.